Hello guys, welcome to the high prediction. In this video tutorial, we are going to create a product display in 3D Studio Max. Before that, let me tell you, I have already uploaded a video of the product rendering in 3D Studio Max and you can get the link in the description of this video. So today we are going to create the same product, product shelf. So let's get it started. First of all, I have this portal and you remember, if you remember my previous video, so I'm going to duplicate, five duplicates. So I need only five, the six doesn't want and these duplicates can change their textures. So I'm gonna select this one. I will go to the V-Ray material and after that I'm gonna assign this and we'll call my bitmap new texture here and that's brown one so I have assigned this and the same color textures I'm going to take from this point with same reflection and on the talk about the cap which is brown cap I'm going to give this color and assign this one so this is my brown bottle so go to the next open and give the very material black color and select this black one assign and select the cap and give black cap give the black color a little bit darker and assign so the third bottle is complete now the fourth one will have to go red one and go to the red texture assign this texture on this bottle and as well a red color on the bottle cap assign this the same process i'm going to select this bottle find out white texture this one and give the white cap color this time here and assign it so I have these five bottles. I'm going to select all these bottles first, but before that we need to save and now we'll find another 3ds Max. Here I'm gonna take rectangle and we'll draw the rectangle approx uh, uh, six feet height and four feet width, but it is too much. So I think we should decrease the width as well and the three feet width. I think this 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 is good. I'm going to select them and convert them into editable spline. And after that, you can delete these extra segments, go to the vertex and find out fillet. Fillet will help you to make it smooth and then uh, select your spline, select them and give them outlines like this. After giving the outline, you just need to go to the modifier list select them go to the modifier list and find out extrude modifier give them a depth of three feet so it is getting extrude i think three feet is good all right then so what's my next step convert to into poly select this edge corner edges of this and go to the chamfer Chamfer will help you to make it smooth corners like this, increase some segments, so it is getting smooth. One more thing in addition, that I will connect these edges to edges like this, with the help of cut tool. Because these edges will help me to control my topology. And after that, you just need to go to the edge tool, select them, ring them, control and polygon, make them insert like this after taking some insert you just need to press it to ok and will take extrude option not modifier only option make it local and decrease their value so now that's good from here now i'm going to select these all five bottles copy and here it is paste so you can find out these bottles. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate the bottle of this black color, increase the size of this bottle by throughout the scaling and put it down here because it's a display uh, 
you can say eye catching point of my shelf i'm gonna draw a rectangle convert this rectangle okay so here i have set this rectangle here according to the bottle have to be in the center convert them into editable spline select their vertex and make them fill it and after flitting, you just need to go to the modifier list and find out extrude modifier. There's too much extrusion. That's good. I have placed it on here and then place this bottle into it. So my bottle is ready here. And uh, after that, we need to adjust another rectangle and we'll draw a rectangle something like uh, this because i'm just trying to draw my product shelf where i can hold my product convert them into a spline and select their vertices set their alignments and make them uh, fill it when you will flip them so it's getting smooth and after that you will have to apply extrude modifier Give them a three inch height. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna convert them into poly. Hold the polygon, make them insert a little bit and then extrude. So here is the platform where I can put my bottle. I'm gonna take connection of two edges, something like this. And uh, now I will place one bottle. First of all, you can take the duplicates of these uh, products, these shelves, and uh, now place one bottle here and uh, with the proper sizing, proper alignment. And the second bottle is, has to be here. So from the top viewport, I'm going to place this bottle according to the directions of the same bottle. And uh, now we'll take another duplicate of this uh, shelf, go to the uh, vertex first, but duplicate them. And after that, go to the vertex, select the vertex, make them out of it, duplicate of this. But I think the height, uh, we have to spread this, something like this. Till now here, take the vertex and make them as well the same size. So we have these shelves already, but I think we should take it more out of it like this. So I'm gonna select these vertices and from the top viewport, I'm going to place it on like here. Okay, so that was it. I'm gonna take my these three products remaining three products and I will place these products here First I'm gonna take this black product and also place on the bottom of this take this bottle And I will take this time uh, Duplicates by holding shift key take four duplicates only four and the thing is that the second bottle takes four duplicate of this bottle as well. And this in the last the white one bottle, take the four duplicate of this white bottle. That's good. I think that was five. No, I want only four. So here I have set like this. Okay, hold the shift key and uh, Take the duplicates of these portal as well. Once again, I'm going to give the random selections like this. So we have the multiple bottles by row and row, and I'm going to take all those, all of them and hold the shift key to make it duplicate by infragging mouse. So yeah. Okay. This time we need to adjust these bottle as well. 
Take some duplicates and uh, make some duplicates from this direction as well. Okay, so we have this basic structure of this shelf with fill of products. Now it's time to texture them. So I'm gonna go to the V-Day settings first, go to the V-Day and go to the GIE now. Make them uh, advanced settings and give them low current preset. Here I'm gonna take bucket and just take the HD size. And for the next step, go to the material editor and find out uh, from this point, find out V-Day material. Here are the V-Day materials. So I'm going to assign this V-Day material on the body of this shelf. Has to be a little black color, 5% black color like this and make them reflection approx 30 and with the value of glossiness 0 0.9 okay take another video material and this time i'm going to take light material i'm going to increase the high uh, value of light which has to be five percent and we'll select this body and go to the polygons select these polygons and assign this white color or white lighting here Okay, select these shelf also and assign the same black color. And this time you will have to go to the, this ring settings, go to the connection by two and, and give these two connection here. This is a separation that black and then red and then white. The same thing I'm going to do this here, go to the ring H and assign connection, the two connection of this. All right then. So next step is just, uh, I'm going to assign this light material to the blue lighting and give them a, a blue color, V-Ray light material, which is blue color. So I'm going to Take this and this edges, make them ring and hold control by polygon and assign this lighted color here. And the same thing, I'm gonna do this brown and I will take brown color, brown light material and uh, the same thing. Select the edges, make them ring, hold control and the polygons and assign them. But this tab is a little bit tricky because it has the one shelf but three different type of bottle. So what am I going to do? I'm gonna take separate polygons, selected separate polygons. So I'm going to change the positions of black with the red. So I have taken red on the right left side and the black in the center. Uh, so this time I'm gonna take red color and uh, this one red and I'm gonna select these with the help of polygons. Here, select these and with the help of white. Okay, so these are these little bit colorful. You will have to select this one as well. Go to the editable poly. After that, select your H, make them ring and give them polygons and also to connection, assign this light material. Okay, select them from the front polygon as well. Make them insert, not too much, just a little bit. And once again, insert and zoom in. You can find out these rings, make them polygon and assign white color white light material. Okay, so the next step is this. I'm going to go to the Adobe Illustrator this time because I need the cutout of Chrome and here it is the Chrome. So I have saved this Chrome file and now I'm gonna import this Chrome logo, which is this one. And let me see, we have imported this one. 
scale up the size make them a rotation 90 degree and this time you will have to apply uh, on the center of this uh, shelf here and apply extrude modifier to make it 3d look something like this and I'm gonna apply this white light material that's full okay so duplicate the crone on the top shelf and more duplicates by holding shift key this same color with the brown one this one and again by holding shift key drag your mouse and duplicate this time give this blue color again duplicate scale up the size on the top and give the white light material and place on the wall of this so according to the modeling we have uh, done this I'm going to take cylinder it's not necessary but you will have to show in the in your shell the lighting system so it is the cylinder basically it's a spotlight under the shelf like this give them a black color and as well you will have to go to the poly select polygons and assign white light material which is something like this so this is my white light material I'm going to duplicate this on this shelf and uh, also I will do another duplicate uh, and from the here and as well you will have to set these duplicate here so we can find out these uh, spotlights under the shelf and now this time is for the time of uh, lighting so I'm gonna assign V-Ray light here and we'll find out V-Ray light under the shelf here okay go to the parameter decrease the multiplier amount which has to be 5 and invisible and no reflection effect duplicate these light under this shelf as well and uh, take another duplicate put them into the center and increase their width and length and decrease the size of their multiplier it has to be one person okay I'm gonna group make them group and uh, this time I'm gonna go to this my studio light setup uh, which is uh, which I will show you this one but for first I'm gonna save this grown shelf okay this time here it is my studio light setup I'm gonna merge uh, this shelf in this for in this file before that I'm gonna tell you that you can get the link in the description for the studio light setup I have already uploaded a tutorial video which is the V-Day studio light you can get the link in the description so here I am just trying to set on this shelf a little bit turn and now I will take uh, some great render so let me show you the render well that's a beautiful render you can see and <coughs> which looks good which looks cool and just for the coloring purpose uh, I think I need to change the position of these uh, bottles i mean i have to i which is i think that the black and the white bottle has to go in the top shelf and the brown and the blue bottle has to come in the big shelf 
so now where uh, let me show you that i have changed their positions and this was the render and this was the beautiful renders and i hope you like this tutorial and if you like this so subscribe my channel press the bell icon thank you so much